The War of Lucuria began with the invasion of the frontier, and ended with a peace treaty between Gunther, King of Regulus, and Hertzfeld, Emperor of Gradamus. Leonhard, the mastermind of this agreement, helped to rebuild the frontier and made steps towards peace. But he was ultimately bound by a contract he made with Deshana, a contract of the spirit. The same moment Leonhard disappeared, several others did as well, including the allies who had accompanied him through many battles and three women of his acquaintance. Without warning, they were gone as though they had never been there before. Such a beginning of a story woven in sp of spirits. The spirit of Leonhardt was inherited by his son, Ladius, and now their story continues. Welcome, guys, to the next part of Let's Play Record of Agrist War. That was a little introduction to the second generation. Um, this is the main hero, Ladius. Ladius is the son of Leonhardt. Um, his appearance will have changed depending on what bride you chose. Um, this is the this is the form of Ladius if you married Fudia. Um, for this generation and this generation only. Even though I'm all, I'm showing all three women's marriage proposals at the end, um, I'm going to be choosing the first one. I'm going to be always choosing the first one. Okay. All right, <laughs> a little contra uh, a little clear that up. Um, anyways, am I really deserving of my family's estate? You have no choice, deserving or not. This is the way things have have to be. One way or the other, I will become a spirit vessel. Is it not simply delaying the inevitable? If it will be a help, think of it as a temporary discretion. Distraction, I'm sorry. <laughs> when the time comes, simply transfer ownership to someone with proper lineage. I am sorry, Winfield, but I cannot share your optimism. You are even more stubborn than I. I wonder who you take after. <laughs> and now we've seen Ellis has changed. Remember in the first um, generation, she was a little girl. Now she's kind of grown into a mature woman. Not you. That much is clear. Ladius, I do not wish to be a dismiss dismissive as certain other people, but perhaps you should relax. I just want to fulfill my destiny, like my father. I feel the darkness that shrouds this land. Be not hasty. That the time for you to fulfill your destiny is nigh. Remember this, your destiny has but a single path. You must go be the, be the one to open that path. Ladius, we have been called to reassemble. We must leave. This is an introduction to another character that I really like. His name is Vashtor. You'll see him later here, or you'll see him after this generation and beyond. He kind of appears out of nowhere, and everybody's like, well, who's this guy? <laughs> Understood. This can wait until later. Has something happened? Rebel forces are gathering in the T Tannis Mountains. Our orders will likely be to destroy them. So quick to allow himself to become involved? Only moments ago he was debating his worthlessness of this estate. <laughs> Can't say I envy the boy having to clean up another's mess. I sense trouble brewing. Are you having a vision? Not a vision, but something similar. The Tannis Mountains are in the House Morris territory, yes. Little wonder a, rebe a rebellion would break out in House Morris territory. Their taxes would make them a rebel too. <laughs> it's so funny because I'm I'm working. Okay, I need to say this right now. 
If you guys notice, I haven't been uploading very much. I've only been uploading, like, occasionally. That's because I've been having tax work to do. I've been, like, at work dealing with people's taxes, so I thought that was kind of a funny coincidence that they said that. That may be, but they are not fools. House Morris has many enemies within, and has made them cunning. So how, then, could these rebels rise so easily? This may lead to civil war, I know, but it could have it could not have come at a worse time. Perhaps we should have t the retainers make their preparations so that we are ready to leave at the moment's notice. That seems a wise course of action. And I do believe we're taking nope, more cutscenes. And that concludes my report. Do you have any questions? No? Then I must ask you to assume your post immediately. My land has fallen into disarray. I should be the one who lead the punitive forces, but my borders are in chaos. I understand. To deal with a ragtag band of rebels such as this is beneath a man of your structure. Your words are reassuring. I leave it to you then. If you will excuse me. Why would you have Laddie 4 lead the punitive forces at a time like this? I never approved such a thing. I cannot say that guy's name is worth it to save my life. <laughs> that may be, but the fact remains that the border forces are immobile. Surely you could have sent someone else. This matter has already been decided. What do you seek to accomplish with the pointless argument? Besides, Laddie for himself has agreed and accepted the decision. I feel to see the problem. If we are done here, we must be getting back to our own affairs. And it's... No, more cutscenes. I thought we were going back to the world map. This is Valyria. We'll be seeing her later, okay? Thaddeus, I heard the news. Why have you agreed to leave punitive forces against the rebels? It is not my place to refuse a direct order from the king himself. Do you really understand the situation? Of course. Which is exactly the reason why I cannot refuse. Gladius, please do not be hasty. The rebel forces are few in number. I will return before you notice I am gone. Valeria, our country has been split into two. You must see to it that the situation does not worsen. You don't need to tell me that. My apologies. It is time I begin my journey. Yes, of course. Valeria is a childhood friend of Ladius growing up. She has always been, they've been friends ever since they were little kids and whatnot. Anyways, now we are in the control of the world map on the second generation. Um, as you can see, we only got two party members at the moment. <laughs> Let's go and change that, okay. Um, change party. We are going to have Ladius join. He starts at level 18. Which is significantly lower than these two. I, I think, yeah. He starts off at level 18. I'm also going to put Vashdor on the team. And who else? No, well, let's put Morganine there. And this is where the this is where the generation kind of like you have to maintain the levels of everybody. Everybody kind of has to level up at the same t at the same time. So it's best if you. Don't do what I just did the first generation, just use characters constantly. You have to maintain levels of every character because every generation, the hero and the three heroines always leave your party after every generation because they're gone. They're just gone. They're dead. Well, I don't know if they're 
dead, but you know, they're, they're, just, they're just disappeared. So let's go ahead and um, outfit some of the characters real quick. Equipment. Hold on a second. Status. Yeah, sorted by party member. Thank you. Okay. Equipment. Let's go, since Latius has not equipped anything, um, if you have max affection for, I believe, Fudia, if, you, if this Latius is the one that you've um, married with a max affection Fudia, he will have a sword, I do believe. Um, yeah, this guy, mine has a sword, yeah, so I'm going to equip the same stuff that um, Leo had on him. Trying to get a best stuff here. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound kind of ugh at the moment. I think I might be coming down with a stomach flu or something because the past couple days my stomach's been really killing me. Let me see if there's something better. Nope. Okay. Power attack. Ooh, he gets two power attacks. Okay. What the heck, Steve? Seriously? Purifies target with holy light. Okay. Oh wait, that's Ascension. What am I doing? Heal. Might do Ascension because you'll see later. Um, it'll be better if you have like best equipment for him, and he might have some in unique uh, spells that he, he might have used in combination to, to uh, the other other people. This is Vashdor. Vashdor is a sword user. Um, let's get a better sword for him here. Uh, the SOC. The SOC! Okay, let's see if we have better stuff here. Core Elemental might be better. I might have to go and upgrade some stuff some more. Intelligence Ring. Charm of Force. That might actually be better. Let's see if there's anything better to offer. Eh. Let's put that on. Let's see what we have here. Double Edge and Sonic Gospel? Ooh, I've never seen that. Increases EP gain. Okay, that'll be actually be good. Actually, before we do anything, and I know I'm kind of wasting time just equipping, equipping stuff and whatnot, and, well, I think that's that's all, that's all kind of all I want to kind of get done in this episode anyways. Does he have a stuff? Yeah, I, okay. Let's get him rush. There we go. Ice vein. Okay. Let's go, and I'm gonna take off. <laughs> Why the hell do you need two, Latius? I don't know what I was thinking, putting two power attacks on you. I'm gonna put a power attack on Bashmore. There we go. Now, now that we got that. I know we've got a, I've got a silly Mandrake on our team and whatnot. Um, I'm going to show one battle. One random battle. We haven't seen one of these in a while. Um, I'm going to be showing off the new characters with this that I, I have on my team right now. Um, like I said before, it's kind of best if you want to... Because, like I said, every generation you're going to be ending up losing people at the start of every generation. So it might be, benef it might be to your benefit to actually like train some other characters that don't go away like Winfield, Borgenine, Ellis, um, Zerva, and Vera Lore. Um, you're probably wondering, like, oh, don't we get Deshana? She's always there. We'll get her later. Trust me on this. Okay. So, Vashdor, we can already kind of see what he's capable of. He's already got... Us. That I've never seen that before. He's got a lot of attack, and he's got two double edges. Holy crap! I didn't even realize that. And he's already got he's already got power attack. Wow. So he can do possibly two broken hits right off the bat. But I'm not gonna do that because I think this will kill him instantly. Didn't overkill him, but eh, it, does, it got the job done. Vastor is a pretty, pretty cool unit, and he looks pretty awesome too in that armor, that freaking evil-looking armor. And he died. 
Alright. Let's go ahead and see what Latius can do. Um, again, he's got two power attacks already. I didn't even realize it. What's Rush Storm? I think Rush Storm is actually a, a move that we can use later. Okay. Let's go ahead and show. He's pretty much just a carbon copy of Leo at the moment. Power attack. <gasps> Boom. Overkill. Yeah. Actually, I think they're the same. They're kind of different because these are different kind of enemies. Uh, Zerva can't reach that crap. Ellis. Okay, I need to tell you something. Well, I don't know if Ellis had, but Ellis, Ellis has ever since the first generation, her range is ridiculous. You'll see it like one time whenever she's in the middle of the field, she'll be able to hit anything. It's ridiculous. Let's see how well my defense has gone. That was missed. That just plain missed. Okay, let's get you over there. Okay, come on. Get you over here. There we go. Zerva can go first. Ice Vein. That is kind of cool that I actually kind of got that, got to equip that. Black Mist. And that'll kill him. There. Okay. Now we got rank A. Yeah, I know. Winfield and Borg and I are leveling up quick quickly. That's because they're low level. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and kind of increase their stuff here. Winfield. God bless his soul. He's freaking low level. Okay. But anyways, that's that's that. that, that that's a kind of an introduction to the new characters and whatnot. In the next episode of Let's Play Record of Agnes War... We are going to go up to the next event and hopefully get some stuff done in the second generation. I'll see you guys later.